every doctor's dream to clear USMLE, PLAB or NEET PG. 2024 just coming in three months going to be held in March. So up those are in the 2024 exam basically uh, this I'm making this video tailor made for all the MBBS students throughout the world. Like you can be either from US, from UK, London, you can be from India, any place in the whole world like English is the most universally accepted language. So I'm making this exclusively in English. Must no drugs, a list of must no drugs. Like I promise you all my dear students, you're going to get one MCQ at least. They can be multiple also, maybe 10, 20 MCQs, multiple choice questions on the newly approved drugs by the US FDA in the year 2024. So this is an exclusive list made available to you by me in which 10 drugs are going to be released and questions to all these 10 drugs are an absolute absolute must for all of you to know whether in India or in US or in UK. So talking about the first drug, the name of this drug is, it is a combination of xanomelene, xanomelene and trospium. Okay, am I clear so far? This drug is a combination of xanomelene and trospium. Fine. So first of all, you will be asked about the indication where it is used. So it is basically used in psychiatric, it is used in psychiatric and in neurological conditions. Clear so far? Great. Psychiatric and neurological conditions. Okay. The status can be asked if you are performing in some questions of USMLE, PLAB or NEET PG, you can be asked the status. Like it is proposed, it might be launched on the 26th of September 24. Okay, now talking what it is, the main most important question, it is an oral, first of all this drug is given by the oral route, it is an oral investigative M1 or M4, as you know there are five types of muscarinic receptors, so it targets either M1 or M4, muscarinic agonist, developed in the treatment of psychiatric and neurological conditions including, this is very important, schizophrenia, first, Okay, schizophrenia and number two, psychosis in Alzheimer's disease. Psychosis in, I am sure you all are well aware of this fact. What is psychosis? You have read it in psychiatry. Okay, so why it is used? First of all, so because it has this entirely innovative dual mechanism of action. Like, like current therapies, this does not rely only on the dopaminergic or the serotonergic pathways. It is designed to harness the therapeutic potential of xanomelene, like xanomelene muscarinic agonist, while managing the peripheral side effects through trospium. So this is a dual mechanism of action, like the good effects, xanomelene will take care of it, and trospium will basically cause elimination of any adverse effects, which can cause, okay, trospium, okay. So this could influence the lives of numerous individuals suffering from serious mental illness, clear? So this is basically the mechanism of action like xanomelene. You can have a look at it. If there is any doubt, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll explain it in detail. Okay, so this slide is self-explanatory, I guess. Moving ahead, the second drug, drug number two, which is extremely important for all of you to remember for your MCQs, USMLE, PLAB, any one of them, Dona Nemab. Dona Nemab. Indication is Alzheimer's disease. FDA review results expected in first quarter of 2024, that is before March. Okay, talking something about it, which will be asked. It is a humanized antibody, first of all. It is a humanized. So this is basically a humanized antibody. Clear so far? It acts against the N truncated, N truncated, Poly, this is very important because this can be an MCQ for all of you. N truncated pyroglutamate amyloid 
Take where does it act? This can be your favorite question for all of you PG students. Need PG India, USMLE US, PLAB for the UK ones. N truncated pyroglutamate amyloid beta peptide at position 3. Peptide at position 3. Okay. So, this the name of it, if I write it in an abbreviated form, it is P. Or you can say, like you can get this also in your MCQs. So, you have to answer it can be either this or it can be this. Okay. So, it is presently being investigated for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, which I have told you. Basically, what is it? It is an N terminally truncated and post translationally modified a beta species found in Alzheimer's disease brain. Its increased peptide aggregation propensity and toxicity make it an attractive emerging treatment strategy for Alzheimer's disease. Clear? Yeah. So you can have a look. I will show you all the references 1 to 10 after you can have a look at it at the video end. Now talking about number 3 drug which is RES. Meterom. So basically, what is resmeterom? Res First of all, you should know where it is used. It is used in NASH. NASH stands for non non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And if they ask you the date, you can mention this date. Basically, what is its other name? This can also be asked in your PG exams, like in your MCQs. MGL3196, first in class. Oral, oral thyroid hormone receptor beta agonist. Oral thyroid hormone receptor beta agonist in clinical development for the treatment of non alcoholic steatohepatitis. So, what is this THR beta? Why it is so important? I'll just be explaining this in a short while. THR beta. This is the main receptor for thyroid hormones in the liver. Main receptor for thyroid hormones in the liver. First, first cause. Okay. Main first. Number two. Why, why do we use it? Steato, steato related to lipids. Clear? So number two, it plays also an essential role in lipid metabolism. It plays an essential role in lipid metabolism. Okay, in several clinical trials that have been conducted, it has been seen that THR beta agonism has shown the potential to reduce to reduce what? Yeah, good question. Very important. Reduce inflammatory liver fat and fibrosis by lowering cholesterol and other atherogenic lipids. Okay. Clear? Fine. So I'll be showing you the reference at the end of this video lecture. You can have the reference. Number four will be clear to you. Then talking about Sota Tercept. Sota Tercept. So use indication first of all pulmonary arterial hypertension. And if they ask you the date, you can mention it 26th of March 24. Clear? So this is the first in class activin receptor. Activin receptor type 2A FC. Uh, this can come uh, like you can be asked this in the MCQ. So you have to mention this. This is basically a fusion protein. Fusion protein activin receptor type 2A FC fusion protein that is designed for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. So basically comprising the FC domain of human immunoglobulin G. This can be an MCQ. Which is a human immunoglobulin? That is immunoglobulin G. Linked to the extracellular domain of human act R2A. It basically functions as what? This can be an ultimate favorite. It functions as a ligand trap for selected transforming growth factor beta super family members inhibition of these ligands inhibition of these ligands what it does it rebalances the this is very important rebalances 
pulmonary vascular homeostasis pulmonary vascular homeostasis and works towards growth inhibiting growth inhibiting and pro apoptotic signaling and pro apoptotic signaling as all of you are well aware apoptosis means programmed cell death so this is the main mechanism okay so this i'll just be showing you the reference at the end of this video you can have a look at it then talking about the fifth drug that is i forgetting which name drug is how does it matter every drug is important dato pota mab like anything ending in mab all of you know it is basically a monoclonal antibody just i have told you suffix mab means monoclonal antibody so the name of this drug is dato dato pota mab deriux tican okay dato pota mab deriux tican the indications of this must must know because this is asked in the mcqs lung and breast carcinoma lung and breast carcinoma fda review results are expected in the year 24 this year okay now what it is basically if i would like to name it in an abbreviated form as you can get in your usmle plab or neat pg exams this is an antibody drug conjugate antibody drug conjugate that is antibody combined with a drug okay anti clear so far great any questions please feel free to post it in the comment section antibody drug conjugate which basically targets t r o p 2 okay so basically dato xd is composed of humanized anti t r o p 2 i g g 1 monoclonal antibody which i told you linked to this is linked to a cleavable tetrapeptide linker it is linked to a cleavable tetrapeptide linker tetrapeptide linker okay which is connected to which is connected to a topo isomerase topo isomerase one inhibitor payload topo isomerase one inhibitor payload that is it is a derivative of camptothecin camptothecin clear so far clear for all of you okay uh, so now after that this is you can read all of this yourself okay the reference also i'll be mentioning at the end of this video now talking about another drug which is very important again the name is acoramidis acora easy way to remember you acoramidis acoramidis indication is a t t r c m that is trans trans thrytin amyloid cardiomyopathy okay so but basically uh, should i repeat this name again surely trans thyrin amyloid cardiomyopathy so this is an investigational next generational ha huh, submitted uh, so this is investigational next generation orally administered highly potent small molecule stabilizer of trans thyretin ttr stands for trans thyretin for the treatment of patients with trans thyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy it is designed to mimic protective t119m mutations by stabilizing ttr tetramers to slow or halt the disease progression clear yeah? then talking about another drug that is mrna 1345 now this right now indication is pre registration okay uh, if it is asked this is pre registration for respiratory syncytial virus infections this is an investigational respiratory syncytial virus vaccine this is a vaccine basically which consists of a single mrna sequence encoding for a stabilized prefusion f glycoprotein and it uses the same lipid nanoparticles as in the moderna covid-19 vaccines all of you know about it moderna covid-19 all of you are well aware the f glycoprotein is on the surface of the virus and is required for infection by helping the virus to enter the host cells it exists in two states 
pre-fusion and post-fusion. The pre-fusion confirmation is a significant target of potent neutralizing antibodies and the protein sequences are largely similar across both respiratory syncytial virus 1 as well as virus 2. Clear? Now talking about Anctiva. Anctiva which is also known by the name N803. Now indication very important. BCG unresponsive BCG unresponsive non-muscle BCG unresponsive non-muscle invasive bladder carcinoma that is non-muscle invasive bladder carcinoma in situ carcinoma in situ so non-muscle invasive bladder carcinoma in situ status 23rd April 24 okay so basically what is it this is a novel this is very important MCQ question for all of you interleukin 5 super agonist complex super agonist complex this is what it actually is and it has received breakthrough therapy and fast track designations from US FDA for BCG unresponsive CIS carcinoma in C2 non muscle invasive bladder cancer clear this is the main mechanism I am sure you have understood it any doubt please don't hesitate to ask me okay clear so far then moving up to another drug that is NC fentrine NC fentrine the indication of it is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and US FD approval status 26th of June like my brother's birthday falls on the 25th this is approved in the 26th of June clear this is a first in class selective mechanism of action dual phosphodiesterase it inhibits both phosphodiesterase 3 you know about both of them I have told in my early lecture videos have a look at it types of phosphodiesterases phosphodiesterase 3 and 4 inhibitor with bronchodilator and anti-inflammatory effects bronchodilator and anti-inflammatory effects okay clear so far then talking about another drug the name of this drug is imatil start imatil start indication lower risk the lower risk myelodysplastic syndromes myodysplastic syndromes approval most probably maybe by 16th of june okay it is a first in class telomerase inhibitor telomerase inhibitor used for the treatment of transfusion dependent anemia transfusion dependent anemia in patients with lower risk myelodysplastic syndrome clear so far okay so this is the data and this finishes all the 10 drugs my references are you can have a look at all of them if you have any doubts please feel free to ask i'll be seeing all of you in my next episode Till then.